in the Moscow region, security forces staged a surprise raid on the sorting center of the popular marketplace in Russia. According to Baza, security forces were interested in illegal migrants and those who had recently received Russian citizenship. The police checked the men's passports and marks of military service. As a result, about 150 people were detained and taken away on four special buses. Subsequently, 105 of them were taken to the military registration and enlistment office. The police involved a group of people in civilian clothes and balaclavas in the raid. We've conducted a joint raid to identify violations of immigration laws and other crimes. Brothers, we are always ready to help our law enforcement agencies at any time. In October 2023, security forces staged a raid on parishioners of a mosque in Katelniki near Moscow. According to eyewitnesses, the men were then taken to the military registration and enlistment office and forced to sign contracts under the threat of criminal charges. After a medical examination, they were taken to a contract service recruitment point and then to a gathering point in the city of Zhilezhnodorozhny. The story gained publicity due to the fact that the finalist of a TV singing show was among those detained and then called up. I was in the mosque for Friday prayers and after it was over, riot police took me to the military registration and enlistment office in the city of Lubertsy. There I passed a medical examination and then was sent for division to the city of Balashiha. Now I'm here in this situation. They do not pay attention to the health of conscripts in the military registration and enlistment offices, their relatives complain. A 24-year-old Moscow resident with asthma was given a backdated summons at the commissariat to be sent to his place of duty. The guy was told that the medical board did not agree with the doctor's conclusion and the disease was not an obstacle to service. Another Moscow resident with hypertension has been kept a gathering point for six days. He is definitely here, we know that. We were told at the military registration and enlistment office that a representative of it was here. If the military registration and enlistment office does not want to meet your needs, I cannot help you. Similar situations are recorded throughout Russia as well as the raids that took place in the Kaluga region, Chuvasha, St. Petersburg, Nizhny Novgorod and other regions. Migrants are taken to the military registration and enlistment office by force or are made to sign contracts with the Russian Ministry of Defense, human rights activists say. This autumn conscription is the toughest in history. At least in Moscow and the region there had been raids and conscriptions before in Moscow, but on a much smaller case. If previously it was possible to take measures to prevent illegal conscription, now this is practically impossible. If previously there were no such mass raids, now they occur almost every week. Alexei Tabalov, founder of the human rights organization Conscript School, in an interview with the We Can Explain publication. Human rights activists explained this campaign by the reluctance of the Russian authorities to conduct open mobilization before the elections so as not to cause public discontent once again. Although there is a constant shortage of personnel in the war against Ukraine, to deal with it, the Kremlin is tightening its rate as much as possible. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Natalia Husak, UATV News.